So have you seen the massive balloon floating over the northern United States? You know, the one that is linked to some very suspicious Chinese surveillance? Yeah, that one. Well, did you know that the China balloon's path has carried it over a number of sensitive sites in the U.S.? So according to CNN, officials have said that the balloon, which is the size of three buses, has been seen over Montana, which is home to underground U.S. military intercontinental ballistic missile silos. But ultimately, officials determined that the potential damage of falling debris outweighed the risk of the balloon itself, despite its ability to bring in intelligence of potentially sensitive information that could pose a huge risk to our national security, similar to those spy satellites in low Earth orbit, which China already uses now, too. Um, so here's a question for you, Mr. Biden. Why don't you just shoot it down? I mean, I bet if Trump was president today, that balloon would have seen one hell of an explosion by now. But who knows? Maybe Trump wouldn't have directed our military to shoot it down either. What do you all think? And have you all seen the data released by the NIH about a recent study that confirms a direct link between the C-19 vaccination and temporary increases in menstrual cycle lengths? So the NIH, which is the National Institute of Health, and the same organization that just bid a farewell to Dr. Anthony Fauci this past December as he stepped down as the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, the NIAID, after 54 years of public service, which included advising seven U.S. presidents and following the science through several major infectious disease outbreaks from HIV to Ebola to, yeah, covid COVID, and they have shared their findings after a large NIH-funded study that included participants in North America and Europe that confirmed a previous U.S. study that linked C-19 jabs with an average increase in menstrual cycle length. The new study funded by the National Institute of Health included data from nearly 20,000 people from Canada, the UK, and the United States, Europe, and other parts of the world who received any of nine different vaccines and for most study participants, the increase resolved in the cycle following vaccination. Man, am I glad my wife didn't fall for that head fake because I don't know if I could survive that one. I mean, if she had longer times of the month. All right, family, I want to thank you all for your continued support. And before I go any further, please take a second, smash the like button because it definitely helps out a little bit with the YouTube algorithm and for your daily dose of the truth with the jobs market, business, small and large, the stock market, investing, savings, the U.S. economy, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and whatever is actually happening in Washington, D.C. that affects our lives, our families, and our bank accounts, not to mention the stock market and the housing market. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and also make sure your notification bell is turned on. And if you own a home, make sure that your home is protected. Never be caught off guard again by another very expensive, unexpected home repair again. Get your free home warranty quote. There's a link in the description down below this video. All right, guys. So senior U.S. officials say it was bold of the Chinese government to fly spy balloons over U.S. territory. And this Fox News headline reads, Chinese balloon flying over U.S. intentional, not a craft that blew off course, U.S. officials say. And U.S. officials disputed claims today from the People's Republic of China that a Chinese surveillance balloon detected over the northern United States was a civilian airship that had blown off course. And a senior U.S. defense official told Fox News that the balloon was launched from mainland China and that the Pentagon does not believe that this was a weather balloon that flew off course and that there was no force majeure that caused the Chinese surveillance balloon to enter U.S. airspace as the China's foreign ministry spokesperson had claimed. I wonder what their stance is now on a second balloon being confirmed by the Pentagon flying over Latin America. Now, the senior U.S. official said this was intentional. So my main question is, what should be the selected weapon to go ahead and blow this Chinese spy balloon out of the sky? Let me know your votes in the comments section down below. Or better yet, we could send up a few pilots with cleverly devised tethering systems to capture it and return it to the nearest base safely and intact for a thorough dissection.
Now, why is it that whenever I buy something from Walmart or order online from Amazon and I get some poorly made Chinese piece of crap, piece of Chinese garbage that doesn't last for two weeks, but they can build a spy camera the size of three New York City buses and it can stand the test of time flying all the way over here from almost 12,000 kilometers away. And speaking of Walmart, have you seen what they've been doing lately to their stores with these remodels? Now granted, Walmart CEO Doug McMillan has already threatened to close down Walmart stores permanently if the high theft didn't stop. But in the meantime, the mega retailer with deep supply chain routes to China manufacturers and from what I hear, a possible system of underground tunnels linked to FEMA has been upgrading security surveillance, locking down products, installing security glass, and little mini prisons for makeup and other cosmetics. I think I even saw a photo somewhere that showed them putting meat under lock and key so it couldn't be stolen either. However, if you have made a purchase at Walmart or other retailer like Target, Walgreens, CVS, Pharmacy, or maybe even the medical or health section of your local grocery store, I want you to pay close attention because the New York Times just released information that eye drops are being recalled after being linked to vision loss and death. So the manufacturer of a brand of over-the-counter eye drops said that it was recalling the product EsriCare Artificial Tears after it was linked to a drug-resistant bacteria strain that has caused at least one person's death and vision loss in five others. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has advised people to stop using the eye drops as the agency investigates an outbreak of of a strain of the bacteria Pseudonomus arginosa, which can cause infections in the blood, lungs, and other parts of the body. And according to the article, this strain of the bacteria had never been identified in the United States before this current outbreak and is resistant to a class of antibiotics called carbapenems, which are generally considered a last resort. So according to the NYT, the bacteria strain had been found in 55 people in 12 states as of Tuesday, according to the CDC. And the agency said that the infections has caused one death, vision loss in five of 11 people who had eye infections and some hospitalizations. While the Food and Drug Administration said that the recall also included Delsam Pharma's artificial tears, which are made by Global Pharma the Indian company that manufactures the EsriCare eye drops and stated that Global Pharma said that it was recalling the eye drops out of an abundance of caution. Now, is it just me or do you too find it kind of odd that at this point in time, a day and age when scientists can discover an Earth mass and potentially habitable planet that is 31 light years away, yet we can't get simple medicine right over something so trivial as eye drops and a cure for chronic dry eyes. And can you imagine when the day comes that the Earth's resources are used up and fully depleted to the point of which traveling 31 light years to potentially relocate is the norm? I can only imagine the new forms of greed that will ensue as the world's elite and billionaires sew up all the precious resources on that new planet for their own profit and personal net worth gain. What a shit show that'll be. But let me ask you guys, what would you expect these major companies and corporate institutional investors like BlackRock and billionaires like Bill Gates to do if land and other precious resources were found and made available for ownership stakes on other potentially inhabitable planets. Do you think that they would even allow us, the average working class, to have a chance to get a piece of the pie? Or would they hoard it all for themselves and their rich and wealthy friends and ultimately make us all slaves who are forced to work long hours and beg for scraps just to survive? Or do you think the government will step in and set laws and implement new codes and taxing us all for these newfound metals, raw goods, materials, minerals, and potential food sources? Or better yet, what if China or Russia beats us to it? What do you think would happen then? My guess, and this is just a guess based on previous historic events, is that it will just be more of the same. And at the end of the day, we know that the government won't provide everything for us. And that's pretty much the norm. Hell, they might not provide anything for us for that matter, but honestly, we don't want to be completely relying on them either. And although this alternate reality may be thousands, if not millions of years away, we must prepare as best we can now, every day for what is likely to happen next. 
And that's why it is so important that we have a few basic skills when it comes to our finances. And one of them is budget. And there are also other ways to improve our lives too, which include independently, we can improve our cash flow with side hustles and small businesses like drop shipping, e-commerce, and affiliate marketing, using those to create multiple streams of income. Like, like check out this book right here. I found it on Amazon and it's called From Nothing, Everything You Need to Profit from Affiliate Marketing, Internet Marketing, Blogging, Online Business, E-Commerce, and more. Starting with less than 100 bucks too. And get this guys, it's 100% free. And I use these same tools to generate multiple diverse and passive streams of income every single day. And there's also investments in the stock market as long as you do your research and we can get into real estate or the stock market and of course building and growing YouTube channels which is my personal favorite. So if any of these topics are interesting to you feel free to join us over on Patreon in the network. So this is what we talk about over there and the path to financial freedom is not simple but it's also not impossible either folks. And before I go please don't forget to drop a thumbs up for the video. Also subscribe for your daily dose of the truth because there's no sense in keeping silent when we have the facts. Now, I appreciate you guys watching. Please be kind to one another and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.